You asked for it, so we've delivered. Here's the best 11 of players who never won the Ballon d'Or. Keeper, Gianluigi Buffon. In goal, we've picked Juventus legend Gianluigi Buffon. The most capped Italian of all time has placed second in the Ballon d'Or once, but has never won the big prize. And with six Serie A successes and a World Cup winner's medal, he deserves a starting spot in our team. Right back, Cafu. Two-time World Cup winner Cafu is our right back. Despite three league titles and a Champions League triumph with Milan, the Brazilian never even made the Ballon d'Or top three. Centre back, Carles Puyol. Carles Puyol also failed to make the podium, but the Spaniard was a defensive powerhouse in the Barcelona backline for 15 years, coming first in La Liga six times, winning three Champions Leagues and lifting the World Cup with Spain in 2010. Centre back, Lilian Turan. A true great, Frenchman Lilian Turan was a powerful, intelligent, versatile defender who lifted the World Cup in 1998. It was a close call between him and John Terry, but management is about making tough calls and Turan was just too classy. Left back, Paolo Maldini. There was no question that Milan icon Paolo Maldini would have to make our 11. The Italian won Serie A seven times and played in eight Champions League finals, winning five. Maldini was third in the Ballon d'Or twice, the second time when he was an incredible 35 years old. Defensive midfield, Frank Rijkaard. Our midfield anchorman is Dutchman Frank Rijkaard, who came in third twice in the 80s, losing out both times to Milan teammate Marco van Basten. Central midfield, Xavi. The metronome who kept Barcelona's tiki-taka ticking, Xavi has the same role in our side. Eight successful domestic campaigns, four Champions Leagues and a starring role in Spain's 2010 World Cup success were not enough to get him higher than third on the Ballon d'Or podium. Attacking midfield, Andres Iniesta. You can't have Xavi without Iniesta, so we've added to our Catalan contingent with the left-footed midfield maestro. He conquered La Liga on seven occasions, lifted Europe's top trophy four times and scored the winning goal in a World Cup final. Central midfield, Andrea Pirlo. What can we say about Andrea Pirlo? Playmaker, World Cup winner, wine connoisseur, it's hard to believe that Ballon d'Or recipient does not feature on the Italian's list of accomplishments. Still, with six Serie A's and two Champions League medals, we're sure he's not too upset. Striker, Thierry Henry. One of the best footballers ever to grace the Premier League. How did Thierry Henry never win the Ballon d'Or? Five league medals in three different countries, a Champions League and a World Cup all feature on TTCV, along with second and third place finishes behind Pavel Nedved and Fabio Cannavaro. Striker, Raul. Until recently, Real Madrid's all-time top scorer, Spanish striker Raul partners Henri in our two-man attack. A silver medalist in the 2001 ceremony, he racked up seven domestic championships and three Champions League triumphs. With some quality service from our midfield, we think he'd never stop banging them in. Subs, Oliver Kahn. Eight Bundesliga wins is some record for Oliver Kahn and he also won the Champions League. This was such a close call, but it had to be Buffon. Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos was a human highlight reel, picking up a World Cup, three Champions Leagues and six domestic championships, but can only make the bench here. John Terry. Whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that John Terry was one of the best defenders of the modern era, but as we said before, he just misses out to Lilian Turan. Clarence Seedorf. Not a single appearance in the Ballon d'Or top three for the great Clarence Seedorf, but he's perfect as an impact sub. Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes has 11 Premier League medals, making him the most decorated player on our list in domestic football, but this still wasn't enough to get him on the podium. Dennis Bergkamp. The Iceman Dennis Bergkamp was a straight-up football genius, there's no doubt. Bronze once, silver once, but no golden ball for the Arsenal legend. Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer might not be a great pundit, but he was made to play football. When this guy got the ball in the box, or anywhere near the box, it went in. So we obviously haven't included Pele guys because of those old regulations, but is there anyone you would change? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, check out our top 10 Ballon d'Or winners featuring Messi and Ronaldo. And don't forget to like and subscribe.